This is Malishwari. Welcome to our channel Chemistry with Malishwari. Today our topic is the differences between metallic conduction and electrolytic conduction are also called as metallic conductors or electrolytic conductors. Okay, metallic conduct conductors are also known as electronic conductors and electrolytic conductors are also known as ionic conductors. Metallic conductors are also known as electronic conductors and electrolytic conductors are also known as ionic conductors. See what are the differences between these two. Now let us see first one. Metallic conduction takes place without decomposition. So metallic conduction takes place without decomposition. There is no decomposition here. So, without decomposition, elanti decomposition, elanti uh, separation or elanti ionization jargadu. Okay? Metallic conduction takes place without decomposition. But, electrolytic conduction takes place along with decomposition. So, along with decomposition. Uh, decomposition jargadu ene electrolytic conduction anedi jargadu undi. Okay, so decomposition i.e. conduction is the electrolytic conductor. Without decomposition conduction jarite metallic conduction under. Okay, see second one. Metallic conduction is due to flow of free electrons. Flow of free electrons. So electrons flow avadam valla metallic conduction jargutundi. El metallic conduction is due to flow of free electrons. Electrons are navy flow out of metallic conduction. Jarutundi. But electrolytic conduction is due to flow of ions. So ions flow out of electrolytic conduction. Jarutundi. They may be cations or anions. Okay? So cations. Anions move abadam valla, flow abadam valla, electrolytic conduction jarutundi. Okay, next point. Always metallic conduction is from negative end to positive end. So, negative end to positive end ki metallic conduction jarutundi because electrons are the uh, responsible for the metallic conduction. Metallic conduction takes place from negative end to positive end. Whereas in the case of electrolytic conduction, the ions moves towards their opposite charges. Ions move towards their opposite charges. So opposite charges why go ions are the move means Cations moves towards cathode. Anions moves towards anode. Cations are positively charged ions. Kabatti, negative electrode wipe kwe tundi. Alage, anions are negatively charged particles. Kabatti, positive electrode wipe ki mo tundi. So, ions always move towards their opposite ends. So, opposite ends are opposite. Ions are opposite electrodes. Then opposite electrodes wipe could well die. And next one, there is no transfer of matter. So, no transfer of matter. So, what is matter here? Transfer of atoms, transfer of ions, etc. Ikada only electron flow wala metallic conduction jarutundi. So, LNT ions kani. Atoms can transfer a move. But whereas in the case of electrolytic conduction, electrolytic conduction lo tundi, there is a transfer of matter takes place. So transfer of matter takes place here means movement of ions, flow of ions takes place. Ionic flow anedi ions transfer anedi Understand? And the last point here, 
metallic conduction decreases decreases with increasing of temperature so temperature perugutu unte metallic conduction tagutundi whereas in electrolytic conduction electrolytic conduction increases with increasing of temperature okay so electrolytic conduction increases with increasing of temperature temperature perigite electrolytic conduction perugutundi automatic ga but metallic conduction lo maatram only decreasing takes place with increasing of temperature so metallic conduction decreases with increasing of temperature electrolytic conduction is increases with increasing of temperature examples are all the metals graphite etc like copper aluminum iron etc all these are conductors metallic conductors and electrolytic conductors koche sariki acidic solutions like hcl hso4 basic solutions like sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide etc okay so these are about metallic conduction and electrolytic conduction and their differences once again metallic conduction takes place without any decomposition but electrolytic conduction takes place along with decomposition okay and metallic conduction is due to flow of free electrons but electrolytic conductors due to flow of ions next metallic conduction is from negative end to positive end negative end to positive end and here the ions move towards their opposite ends means cations towards cathode anions moves towards anode and there is no transfer of matter in the case of metallic conduction there is no transfer of matter in metallic conduction but electrolytic conduction means there is a transfer of matter like atoms ions etc understand and finally metallic conduction decreases with increasing of temperature metallic conduction decreases with increasing of temperature whereas electrolytic conduction increases with increasing of temperature electrolytic conduction increasing with increasing of temperature and example sir some metals like iron copper aluminum etc and electro electrolytic conductors ke examples like strong acids weak acids strong bases weak bases and some other aqueous solutions understand okay i hope you understand thanks for watching